In this video, we will learn about the Harris Tedero model of migration. So this model uh, was developed by Harris and Tedero in 1970. This model explains the rural urban migration. So for migration to take place, uh, you know, people compare the actual wage rate in the rural sector with the expected wage rate in the urban sector. And let me explain it with an example. Let us suppose the wage rate in the rural sector is being denoted by WR, that is the actual wage rate in rural sector and we have the expected wage rate in the urban sector also okay so people compare this actual wage rate in a rural sector with the expected wage rate in urban sector for the sake of simplicity let us assume the wage rate in rural sector is let us suppose it is forty dollar a day okay and supposedly uh, the wage rate in urban sector is let us suppose it is hundred dollar a day okay so now we need to find out the expected wage rate of urban sector and let us denote it by expected wage rate of urban sector will be equal to it will be equal to the wage rate the actual wage rate in the urban sector times the probability of getting a job in the urban sector that means expected wage rate in the urban sector will be equal to the actual wage rate in urban se sector in this example it is 100 times let us suppose the probability of getting a job in the urban sector is 50 percent a coin toss okay so let us suppose it is 0.5 that means in this case expected wage rate in the urban sector will be equal to 50 100 times 0.5 is 50 so people will compare the actual wage rate with the expected wage rate of the urban sector so here ex, uh, you know actual wage rate in the rural sector is 40 dollar so we have 40 dollar this denotes the actual wage rate in rural sector and we have here 50 which denotes the expected wage rate in the urban sector okay so here you can see the expected wage in urban sector is greater than the actual wage in rural sector when the expected wage rate in urban sector is greater than the expect uh, sorry the actual wage rate in rural sector people will migrate from rural sector to urban sector okay let us uh, explain it diagram uh, diagrammatically okay so let me draw a simple uh, you know uh, what i call a diagram and let us suppose we have here o o1 or we have here a and b so we have a b okay let us suppose this vertical axis on this side shows us the rural sector and this side shows us the wage rate in the urban sector okay okay so um, what we do here we draw a demand curve for rural sector and let us suppose it is a a prime that is the agriculture uh, you know labor supply uh, curve or labor demand curve in the agriculture sector likewise we draw another wage rate let us say it is our m m prime this is the labor demand curve in the manufacturing se sector here okay that is the urban sector in this case okay so what happens at equilibrium let me rub this out so at equilibrium what will happen and uh, the condition is at equilibrium at equilibrium at equilibrium actual wage rate actual wage rate in a rural sector rural sector should be equal to the expected exp ec td expected wage rate in urban sector urban sector 
okay so here we have two curves this is the labor demand uh, curve for the rural sector or the agricultural sector and we have mm prime the labor demand curve for manufacturing sector so initially uh, these two meet at this point let us suppose at this point we have w r so we have a w r which is the wage rate uh, in the rural sector and corresponding to this let us suppose we have uh, W U that is the wage rate in the urban so B W U denotes the wage rate in the urban sector so is this a, an equilibrium point so let me suppose it is at this point where we have L naught that means this portion uh, is in the rural sector and this portion is in the urban sector initially but in case of this model this E is not our plausible uh, equilibrium point why we assume that uh, the actual uh, wage rate in the rural sector is less than that of the actual wage rate in the urban sector. That is, wage rate in the rural sector are less than the wage rate in the urban sector simply because the wage rate in the rur rural sector are generally the, they are flexible, seasonal. There is you know fluctuations in those wage those wage rates and they are less than that of the urban sector where, where we have the organized sector or where we have some sort of you know fixed wage rates okay so this is not our plausible equilibrium then what is the equilibrium uh, you know condition that is actual wage rate in the rural sector should be equal to the expected wage rate in the urban sector that is uh, if i write it again that is X, uh, let us denote it by uh, W subscript or that is actual wage rate in the rural sector should be equal to the expected wage rate in the urban sector. Okay. Now what is um, WR? So WR will be equal to now what is expected wage rate in urban sector? It will be equal to let me write it here PA upon PB times the wage rate actual wage rate in urban sector okay and this condition must hold now what is pa upon pb it is uh, let us suppose pa is the number of jobs available in the urban sector okay so pa denotes the number of jobs okay and pb denotes the number of job seekers who want the employment in the urban sector so number of job seekers okay so if any person from rural area wants to go to the urban area he will uh, first find out what is my uh, you know orders to get the job in the urban sector that will be equal to the number of jobs in the urban sector divided by the number of job seekers okay let us suppose in this example let us say we have 100 jobs for the sake of simplicity and job seekers is 200 also assume in this example let us say the wage rate in the uh, what we call the actual wage rate in the urban sector is equal to um, let's take a value let us suppose hundred dollar a day and let us suppose the wage rate actual wage rate in the rural sector is fifty dollar okay so let us take so let us suppose we have 50 here so 50 dollar is the wage rate in the rural sector okay so let us suppose we have this point here l1 and we have also the uh, wage rate in the urban sector which is hundred dollar let us suppose it is this point at this point okay so let us denote it by l2 and here we have hundred so here a and let us give another uh, name to this so let us say here it is c and d so ad ad is the and this point shows us the equilibrium let us show it by e1 and this also shows us another equilibrium point e2 so we will get this kind of curve here okay so it is not uh, you know graphically i have not drawn it correctly so let me try to regraph it so let us suppose it is here okay so it should be like this so here we have 50 so if i join this point and this point 
okay this is our another curve so e1 and e2 join us that two equilibrium pointers so at this point what happens the actual wage in the rural sector is equal to the expected wage in the urban sector okay so let me repeat it here at equilibrium what happens the actual wage in the rural sector should be equal to the expected wage rate in the urban sector so in this example we assume there the actual wage rate in the rural sector is $50 and actual wage rate in the urban uh, uh, sector is hundred dollar. Okay, PA upon PB shows us the probability of getting a job in the urban sector. Let us suppose we have hundred jobs and there are two hundred job seek uh, seekers. By job seekers, we mean those people who want employment in the urban area. Now, if this E one is a point and E two, these are it. Uh, you know, equality holders at this point. So what happens? A L one here. A L one means these people are in. The uh, rural sector, rural sector, and BL2, BL2 number of people are in the urban sector. Okay. Now, what about L1 and L2? What is this distance? So, who are these people? That is from L1 to L2. Who are these people in this case? So, these are the workers who cannot go to the rural sector but don't want to remain unemployed in the urban sector also. Okay? So, then what we need to do? We need to decompose the urban, urban sector into the formal sector, formal sector and informal sector. Okay? So, let me write it here. So, we decompose or we write urban sector urban sector is composed of formal sector formal sector and informal sector or unorganized sector okay so this bl2 shows us the amount of a uh, number of people who work in the formal sector where they get high wage rate okay and get uh, you know high salary now this l1 and l2 these are those very persons who are, so let me write here, L1, L2 are those people who are in the informal sector, workers who cannot go to the rural uh, sector again, but don't want to remain in the, uh, uh, remain unemployed in the urban sectors, okay? So, they are the people that are being, uh, you know, given the lower wages and, you know, there is high exploitation of those workers. In the formal sector, we have B, L2, okay? This is, so the main essence of the um, harris tedero model is that people compare the actual wage rate in the rural sector with the expected wage rate in the urban sector. I hope I make myself clear in this video. If you find out these videos helpful, please share this channel with your friends. That's the only motivation for me to make more useful uh, videos for you. Okay, so this was just, uh, uh, you know, I just, I, did, I didn't uh, touch the assumptions here. It was only to explain how... Harris Taylor model workers. Thank you. Have a nice day.